Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I am Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So guys, I hope that you all are doing well. I am just really blessed and honored to have you guys with me on this ride. I'm just trying to just be out here in these YouTube streets, just doing what God is calling me to do, especially in this season. Um, I want you guys to tell me how you're doing today. Where are you? What city are you in? Um, and y'all, while it's on my mind, like, share, and subscribe. Please, y'all, share it with other people. Please let them know what's up. You can see in the chat, I just texted my websites and ways that you can connect with me. Um, and don't forget, I also put another link in there. If you want to do a 10 minute consult with me, you can. Um, and people love those. Those are usually just to try to see where you are and if I can assist you in a way further than possibly on social media and, you know, something is crafted for you from there. Um, I also wanted to just say, before I get into this topic, that, um, if you have anything that you want to talk about, make sure you shoot me an email. Again, I'm putting that in the chat as well. Info at I'm wired to inspire .com and definitely hit me up and then we can just talk. I could, you know, if there's a topic or something you want to discuss, I definitely will pray about it. And if I'm led to, I will surely do it. Just like the topic that I'm talking about today. Um, this topic actually derived from a, a 10 minute consult. That's why these are so important, y'all. And I'm not going to say her name. I don't, I don't know if she would want me to say her name, but she knows who she is. <laughs> but she talked about FOMO, fear of missing out. But really, it was fear of missing God, right? And I was like, oh, my God, I've been feeling like that. Many people feel like that. And I think it's important that we address this particular topic because it's more prevalent than we realize. So with that, guys, I want to just talk about how just sometimes when we get in that space of feeling like we're going to miss God, I'm um, going give you, to give you a couple of things that I want you to consider moving forward. And these are things that I am still in the process of learning. And for me, I like to think that I'm a student of life. I don't know about you guys, but if you have not, try to adapt a mindset of always being willing to learn, um, being a solutionist, a problem solver. Other people may not understand how you execute that, but I think that's something that you can go back to God about and just talk to him about seeing how, if you don't think like that already, how you can expand to that. It doesn't mean that you can solve everybody's problems or even solve all of your own, but at least if you're in your mind, you always want to get a solution the way you comprehend it, because everybody doesn't comprehend that the same. But if your heart is to put more good in the world by solving problems, and even if you're not so much of a problem solver, but maybe someone that is always concerned about the greater good and how you can contribute in a way to make things better, then that is always a wonderful skill set and a wonderful mindset to have. Okay. So here's the thing, y'all. And, and if, and if you are going to stay on the whole time with me, please, somebody just put, uh, type these, uh, these scriptures in the box for me. I'm going to be typing them too, but just in case I miss anything, I want to just start off with the word of God. We got to lead with the word of God, right? So one thing we don't think about when we're having FOMO or we have the fear of missing God is that we're not thinking about what's really going on. We automatically get caught up in that emotion and that feeling and we get caught up in feelings. And one of my first podcasts I did in 2017, it was about feelings, not being facts. Feelings are not facts, okay? So what happens is in, when you get caught up in your feelings, you start thinking things are one way and they're really not. You start thinking that, you know, if, if I feel this way, I feel this heaviness, I feel like I can't hear God. God, what are you telling me? I keep praying, what's going on? I can't feel you, I can't hear you. I don't know what's going on, Lord. You know, what's, you know please show me the next thing. What we don't realize is, there's just certain promises that God has already made to us that literally can make fear of missing him almost impossible. I'm not saying it is not, but it's very hard to miss God. Usually we miss God when we're too deep in our feelings and we don't allow ourselves to breathe and really remember the word that he gives us. I can tell you I am absolutely guilty of this. This is usually why if I run off on a tangent, it's because I forget the word of God, y'all. That's why 
in um in Joshua it talks about keeping the book of the law on your lips. Don't go to the left and go to the, go, go to the right. That's why we have to literally write the word of God on our hearts. We have to really, really understand it and not forget it, y'all. Because here's the thing. There are multiple times in the Bible where the Lord talks about, I will be with you always. How could you miss somebody who's always with you? Think about it, right? This is the thing that I have to tell myself, like, wait a minute, girl. You can't miss him if you just start with that. Just start with his promises for you. Not the prophecies people tell you, but what are the promises that he's written again? He exalts his word over his name. His word is above his name. So check this out. In Isaiah 41, 10, it says, fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. It is hard to miss someone who's literally telling you, I'm with you. I'm with you. So you're like, God, where you at? I can't. Lord, I don't feel you. He's like, I'm with you. He didn't say you're going to be able to feel me with you. He didn't say you're going to be able to see me with you. He gave a nice, clean, declarative statement. I am with you. So the minute you're like, God, I don't want to miss you, Lord. I feel like I need to take this job opportunity, but I don't want to miss you. He's like, wait. First off, the, let, let's put the job opportunity right here. Before we can even think about you missing a job opportunity, I am with you. Let me give you another one. Matthew 28, 20, teaching, to, teaching them to observe all that I've commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Again, before we can say, I don't want to miss him on the opportunity. Well, did I miss God about that person? Was that guy really my husband? Oh man, maybe if I should have took that job 10 years ago, I wouldn't be in this situation right now. Did I miss God? Did I miss God? He literally says, I am with you always to the end of the age. You cannot miss God if you understand and accept that he is literally right there with you. And he is going to do exactly what he promised. And even if right there, the only part of the promise that you can grab is that he will be with you always, then take that. Run with that until everything else plays out. I'm going to give you another one, okay? Deuteronomy 31, 6, be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you, y'all. Constantly in the Bible, y'all. It's 83 Bible verses. It's 83 Bible verses that says, I will always be with you in some form or fashion. I won't leave you. I won't forsake you. I will be with you always. I'm always here. Um, I won't let every, anything happen to you. Here's another good one. Genesis 28, 15. Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land for I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. For some of y'all, that needs to be y'all anchor scripture for 2022. Genesis 28, 15. Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land. For I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. So to all of you right now who are sitting in that space saying, oh God, I think I miss God. I don't, I just, oh Lord, like I don't know what's going on. That's your scripture. That should set somebody free right there. If you have been a person constantly mulling over and contemplating some poor decisions you think you've made or some things that you felt, you know, maybe you did make some poor choices. We make poor choices sometimes. Yeah. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that's the end of the world. And it surely doesn't mean that you get to get, you're going to get burned at the stake for that. That's not, that's not what it is. Okay. So I want, I want some of you who are really resonating with this to just remember that Genesis 28, 15 in this season, it can probably be a real big help in helping you to get your mind right and getting your power back. Behold, I am with you and I will keep you wherever you go. So let's say that another way. Girl, listen, listen, bro, whichever one you are, <laughs> he's like, listen, hear me out. Okay. Why are you stressing about missing me? And I keep telling you I'm with you. 
Are you really feel are you really afraid that you're missing me or are you just too impatient? Are you being controlling? Are you trying to run the situation and you're not quiet in your spirit? You're not quiet in yourself so that you can actually let me do what I need to do for you. Is that what's going on right now? Is that what's going on? Or do you really feeling like you're missing me? He's like, hey, daughter, hey, son, the only time you miss me is if you just choose to ignore that I'm constantly with you. But it's impossible to miss me. Hear hear him out, y'all. Check this out. Even if you're all over the place, he's saying, no, I bring you back to this land. And this land for some of you in this season is where he wants you to be. This land could be your hometown. It could be where you move to. It could be the job. It could be, uh, it could even represent a relationship of some kind. If you got so far away from that, he's literally saying, it's okay. I'll bring you back to it. So y'all, it's impossible to miss God. That fear that you feel where you could possibly miss out or you could miss God on something. I got news for you. That's a scam. Fear is a scam. Y'all. Fear is a scam. The enemy is scamming you. If you over here thinking, you know, oh man, you know, I'm gonna miss out. It is impossible for you to miss something or somebody that says that they're there the whole time. They're literally there the entire time. Even if you can't see them, even if you can't feel them, they're like, no, like I got it. And now the question is, now is it, it's not fear of, uh, really, not thinking you're going to hear what God is saying, but sometimes the fear is that if you really listen to God, to what he's saying, you might not want to do what he's telling you. That's the elephant in the room. People don't want to talk about because maybe you just don't want to be bothered with it. And maybe that's the fear. Sometimes the fear of missing out, I'm speaking for myself. The fear of missing out for me was fear that I was going to be waiting all that time and it was going to be something I didn't like or something I didn't want. And that's the truth. A lot of people are not honest enough to say that. There was a point when I wasn't honest enough to say that. But if you can relate, hit the comments, hit the chat. Let me know. Because y'all, here's the thing we got to understand. Fear out the gate is a no-no. The first scripture I said, Isaiah 41, 10. What's the first part of that scripture? Fear not. Fear not. And then the next one is I am with you. So fear of missing God. Fear not, I am with you. Fear of missing God. Fear not, I am with you. He literally, he literally gives you an anti-FOMO scripture. He gives you an anti-fear of missing out scripture. He tells you out the gate. Fear is unacceptable. If you operate in the very thing God tells you not to operate in, if you operate in the very thing that God tells you not to operate in, you are going to cause yourself heartache and unnecessary issues that God is trying to say, hey, listen, we could avoid all of this. This is why I'm telling you, don't worry. You could avoid all of this. All of this is avoidable. All of this is avoidable. I just need you to reset and I need you to hear what I'm telling you. I need you to hear what I'm telling you. John 14, 27 says, peace I leave you and my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Come on, y'all hear me out. Hear me out. You will not miss God. And the fear... The fear, the quote unquote fear, the false evidence appearing real that you are putting in place because of some other reason you may think that God is not going to give you what you want. Or you may think that, you know, maybe you've done so many wrong things. He's not going to honor your request. He's not going to hear you. He's not going to, uh, you know, he's not going to do certain things for you. It is so, so, so important. It is so important. That moving forward, you find a word of God to stand on. You have to. For those of you right now who are endeavoring careers in entertainment, 
you are endeavoring careers that are of service to people. You are endeavoring careers that will require you to be in the front. It is important for you to find something to stand on. I'm telling you, you need to find something to stand on that's solid. That's not flip floppy, something that's solid. And the reason why I'm saying entertainment, the Lord is just making me speak on entertainment and entertainment. Like I said, that can run a gamut from writing, from acting, from singing, songwriting, um, even in the front, even in the front of, you know, you on a social platform, God might be calling you and expanding you. You might be talking to people on zoom meetings. I don't know, but there's something about being in front of other people. If you're in front of a stage, even if you have a high position in your job, even if you, you are in leadership. So it's in entertainment, leadership, things like that. Um, it is important that you shut down everything or every charge that tries to come against you to make you think you're inadequate or that you will miss what God is telling you to do through this stance or this gift that you are using right now. Do not let the enemy jack you up in this hour. That is important. Don't feel discouraged if you don't get the gig. Don't, don't feel crazy if you were in front of the people and you mess things up or you don't really know what to do now. Don't do that to yourself. Do not do not allow yourself to get sucked into those lies. Again, that's where that false evidence appearing real comes from. That's where that fake scammy fear comes in because it tries to cause you to miss the entire focus of what God is saying. He's saying it's impossible to miss me. You cannot. Like people say, I've said it. Hey, we miss God. No, we we think we miss God. No, we might ignore God or we might let fear come in. And make us think that God is not there. But I done told you he say 83 times, I'm right here with you. The only time you miss me is if you choose to. Again, all things that I've personally had to learn. These are not things that I'm saying people should just get because that's not true. That's not fair. And I'm still working on those things as well. But I tell y'all what, I want you to get excited. I want you to make sure that moving forward, you do, you do three things. Y'all know I'm a good three things person. I like to, I like to give people three bullets because I think three is a nice, healthy number to get those wheels turning and you can start thinking about what you're going to do moving forward. Now, the first thing I want you to do is this. When you start having fear about something that you're doing, or you become afraid that you don't think that you're going to hear God well, or he may not answer. I want you to write down what that trigger is. And what I mean by that is, if you sit with it for a second, do you land in a space where you're like, well, um, I just hope God don't make me do this. Or I just hope, you know, things go like that. That's usually not too far behind FOMO. Usually it's a deep rooted fear that has nothing to do with you missing God, but it has more to do with you questioning or being afraid that he might not give you an outcome that you really desire. That's usually not that far from there. You'll see. Give that one a shot. Number two. Think about the position that you're currently in in your life. Look at everything going on around you. Look at everything going around, going, excuse me, going on around you and think about your value, uh, your value portion. What kind of value are you adding right now where you are in whatever you're doing? What's your value level? What's your value portion? What portion of what you're giving is adding value to wherever you are in your life right now? And thirdly, I want you to think about the last few people you talked to before you started feeling a fear that you were going to miss God. Because sometimes, y'all, we don't realize it, but some people can make us go down a rabbit hole that's not good. They can make us go through these emotions and these feelings that you got, you got to be careful who you do that with. I got a friend right now, and honey, we, we rabbit hole short. Is we, I can talk to her because we can go down rabbit holes and we safe. But there are other people I can't do that with because I know if I go down the wrong road, you know, they, I, could, I could hang up discouraged. I could feel bad. I could feel upset. I can feel, un, 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 I could feel like I'm uh, unraveling, right? So <clears throat> take those three things and I want you, again, talk about it in the chat. You know, let me know, like, how are you feeling and where does it derive from? Because, y'all, if we can get to that part, then we can, un, we can undo and we can uh, unpluck. We can pluck up. That's it. We can pluck up all of the things 
that are rooted in making you have this false evidence appearing real as if you're going to miss God and it's impossible to miss him because he is literally with you. And what I loved about the John 14, when he starts off, he's like, no peace. I leave with you. Like regardless peace, I may give to you. Like I'm giving you peace. The world is not going to give it to you. So if your heart is troubled, I'm not giving you a troubled heart. If you feel like you're missing me, that's impossible. Cause I keep telling you, even if, even if you don't see me, I am there. And even with all of that, I'm still giving you peace. You have to select this option. Some of us just not selecting the option. He's like, here's an option of peace. I've given you peace. But if you select the option of fear, then it doesn't mean that God is not there or you missed him. You may have just opted out and didn't even realize that you did. You may not have even realized it. So tell me what y'all think. Again, tell me what y'all thinking about this in the chat. Uh, meanwhile, again, thank y'all. I want you to like, subscribe, and share this with someone. Please make sure you check out my offerings. You can sign up for a 10-minute consult to see if you want to work further with me. And I can tell you about other things that are catered specifically to you. Um, also, don't forget I have dope journals. I have dope journals. I have dope journals. I love them. People are starting to get them. I'm so excited. Um, and we're going to keep building and creating things. Y'all, 2022 for me is about tools. I'm going to be providing you guys with tools. And guess what I'm dropping this coming week? I am dropping two free ebooks praying specifically for the different professions that many of us have. Everything from artistry to people who do unique jobs in coding and business, hairstylists. I did a series on this several years ago and I'm bringing it back and I want to offer that free uh, prayer book to everyone who wants it. So I will be dropping that this coming week. It's already ready to go. And when we get on next week and do a live chat, I'm probably going to do another chat this weekend too, y'all. But when we do one for next week, the one that, that starts um, this coming week after Monday, that's when I'll be able to um, release that to you guys and you can grab it and we can start rolling. So I hope that this blessed you guys today. And, um, yeah, y'all have an incredible day. Let's have a dope weekend. How about that? Let's have a fire weekend. Yeah. Have a, have a good time y'all. And I, y'all see y'all. I just really appreciate y'all talking, chatting it up with me. And again, I love you guys. Don't forget to check out my podcast too. Check out the description for, if you missed anything in the chat box is okay. Just go to my description underneath this and all of the links of everything we talked about is in there as well. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too.